It's the challenge of the day, challenge of the day, challenge of the day, challenge of the day, it's the challenge of the day. Good afternoon, Clifton High School. Welcome to Thankful Tuesday of the Challenge of the Day. Uh, today we are going to be giving thanks to uh, all of the lovely, wonderful people who gave us Christmas presents or sent us a lovely Christmas card. Um, it's very easy to receive a Christmas card or a Christmas present and take it for granted. And we must never, ever, ever lose sight of the fact that we're incredibly lucky and uh, very, very fortunate to receive any gifts or any cards or any love sent our way. There are lots of people in the world who aren't so fortunate as us. So we are going to recycle our Christmas cards and turn them into postcards and send them to the people who uh, we haven't thanked already. We may have done them all already. And if you have, well, you're superstars, uh, but you can still recycle your old Christmas cards ready for next year uh, as labels, if you're not gonna send them as postcards. So, uh, watch the next video and make sure that we're always thankful and always grateful for everyone who shows us love, shows us affection, uh, and gives us presents and cards. Enjoy. So team, what we need is our old Christmas cards of all different types and varieties. And we need a pen and we need really carefully a pair of scissors. And what we do is we pick a nice uh, Christmas card, so merry and bright, and we read who it's from inside. Uh, to Alice, James, Tommy, wishing you a very happy Christmas. Looking forward to seeing you all in 2021. Lots of love. Kaz, Jez, Arthur and Monty, so some good friends of ours. And in order to reuse this card, we're going to cut directly down the fold. Okay, so really carefully. And if you're not allowed scissors in your house, ask your parents, okay, to do it for you. I'm just going to cut directly down the middle of the card. So now you can see we've got two parts of it. We've got the written card and we've got the front cover with nothing written on the back. And on the back, I'm going to draw a line directly down the middle. Okay, so I get my pen. Draw a line. I might get maybe not in the middle, a bit further over, maybe about two thirds. Like so. Okay. I then write Kaz, Jez, Monty, and Elf. Not gonna lie, don't know their address. I'm gonna put their address there. On the other side of the postcard. I'm going to put uh, Dear Team Burn, that's her surname. Thank you so much. Etc. 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 You get the idea. Okay, you write your thank you card there. We're then going to put a first class stamp on it, pop it in the post box, and you've got recycled uh, Christmas thank you cards from the cards that they sent you. By using the cards that they sent you, you automatically know that you've sent a reply to the people who have sent it to you. So it's a really good way of keeping track. If you've already sent your thank you letters, which I imagine the majority of us have because you're very, very good, then what you can do is just keep this, cut it in half still, and keep it as a Christmas uh, tag for next year. Looking after the environment, spreading thanks, and thinking about Christmas. It's a good thing to do, people. Right, so enjoy. Send me some pictures of your thank you postcards and I shall see you tomorrow for Wellbeing Wednesdays. It's a challenge of the day, challenge of the day, challenge of the day, challenge of the day. It's a challenge of the day.